Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to be working on an Acer Chromebook C720 series computer. The exact model is a C720-2103, but this should apply, the procedure here should apply to any C720 series laptop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open the computer, uh, access and take off your LCD assembly if you want to replace the entire assembly. If you want to replace the LCD itself, I'll show you how to open up the LCD assembly to get at the LCD. Okay, so first thing to do when getting in any computer, shut it off, unplug the power adapter and remove the battery. Uh, our battery is inside, so we got to take off our, our panel first. But you want to do those things because you want to have as little power running through the computer as possible uh, to limit the chances of, of damaging anything. So the first thing we're going to do now is go across the bottom panel, take off all the screws that we can see. Keep in mind, guys, when you're going into a computer, keep the screws uh, that, that go to certain parts of the computer together and keep them separate from the other screws. Not all screws in a computer are going to be the same size. So you want to keep your bottom case screws together, uh, your battery screws together, motherboard screws, wh whatever screws you have in your computer. Keep them together so you know where they go when you're reassembling the computer. Now that all of my screws are gone, I'm going to take my small flat pry tool. I'm going to go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and pry up this bottom case. Just as a quick shout out guys, the anti-static pad that I'm using, you see it under the computer, uh, that's to prevent any damage to computer components when you're getting into it. Either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas when working on a computer. So for those supplies and also any tools, screwdrivers, pry tools, anything that you guys need help with, check out the link above. It'll be a referral link to uh, a lot of the tools and supplies I use in my shop if you want help finding any of those things. So when you're putting your pry tool in there, make sure you don't go too deep. You don't want to damage any components by going too far in, but you'd basically just go along the outside seam and separate them. Once you've got it mostly off, you should be able to just muscle it out the rest of the way. Again, be careful. You don't want to break it. Once you've gotten it all free, it'll come off like this. There are no electrical components here. It's just a panel. So now you can put that off to the side. And now you see the inside of the computer, you have your battery, your motherboard, your fan. Uh, so now we're going to unplug the battery. Okay, so to remove the battery, it's fairly simple. You've got a screw here and a screw here. Uh, on mine, it's broken off, so I, I may not need to, yeah, I, I don't need to remove that screw. But you have two screws here you'd have to remove, and the battery plugs in right there. So I'm going to take my Phillips, I'm going to unscrew this battery, and then it unplugs right there. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see that port. So there's your battery port. The battery port is black and metal and the battery plug that plugs into it is white. And if you guys look at yours, there's two little arms that come out from the white port. So you can put your fingernails there and push. Or in my case, I'm going to take my flat pry tool. I'm going to push off on one side at a time. And that battery comes right out. Just like that. So now I'll remove the fan and the heat sink assembly so you can see how to get that out. So just as a special note here guys in the video, you don't have to necessarily unplug and remove the heatsink assembly and the fan. You don't have to remove the motherboard to get your LCD assembly out. But what you do need to do is unplug your LCD cable from the motherboard. Uh, you also need to run your antenna wires, unplug them from the Wi-Fi card and unrun them around your fan, get them out from your fan so that those can be loose. So when you take your LCD assembly off, those wires can come with it. So to get this fan out, you have to unrun those, those antenna wires, get them free. So again, here we have your Wi-Fi antenna wires. We're just going to snap those up from the Wi-Fi card. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to remove to get the motherboard up is the LCD cable here. It runs through the hinge up here and plugs into your motherboard. If you notice on yours, there's a sticker that goes over the cable onto the port to hold it in place so it doesn't get loose. So we're going to have to gently peel that sticker up uh, and peel it back to be able to pull out that, that plug. And then just like the other plugs, I'm going to push off one side at a time with my plastic pry tool to get this plug out. Nice and gentle. You don't need to force it. There we go. So now that's out. 
Now that the motherboard's off, we can continue to access either the LCD assembly or your palm rest. Either way, I'm gonna to have to undo these hinge screws to separate the LCD assembly from the palm rest. Now that my hinges are separated, I'm just gonna give the palm rest a nice little lift up before I can put it back down and uh, disconnect it from the hinges. Now that it's a little separated from the hinges, I'm just gonna take my antenna wire, move that back, and the black antenna wire has to run across here and make loose from the hinges there. Now I can separate my palm rest from my LCD assembly. So there's your palm rest, there's your keyboard. As you can see here, your keyboard is not held in by screws. It's held in by a lot of little plastic rivets. Uh, in order to separate the keyboard from the palm rest, you have to snap all those up and then to replace the keyboard, um, you wouldn't be able to fasten them down quite as well. This is called a French inset keyboard. Uh, so typically, if you're looking to replace a keyboard, uh, you should replace the entire palm rest. If you have to replace just the keyboard, you can find different ways of trying to fasten it down, uh, electrical tape over the edges, things like that, but keep in mind it may never be as secure as this one was. So to gain access to your touchpad, you have some screws here that you can see, these three. You have these two screws and a couple smaller screws there for the shield over your touchpad. So you would undo all these screws, get your touchpad out if you're looking to replace that. Keep in mind, you'll have to unplug the ribbon cable from the touchpad here. So here's your LCD assembly. Uh, you can either replace it as seen here, or you can open it up as I'm gonna show you to replace the actual LCD if the screen is broken and you wanna keep the rest of the LCD assembly. A lot of times with LCD assemblies, there'll be screws on the outside, uh, maybe hidden with some black tape, but there are none here. We're just able to take our flat pry tool and go around the seam, just like we did with the palm rest and the bottom case, and separate the front bezel from the back panel. Again, it's just as important here to not put this in too far. You have wires, antenna cables, webcams, things running along the side. You don't want to break those. After you've gotten it most of the way up, you can just go across and slowly force it up. Keep in mind, a lot of these are held on by double-sided tape. So once you get it up, it should just come off just like that. And there's no electrical components or anything attached to it. It's just your bezel. Now that your bezel's off, you can see screws here, here, and here. That's what's keeping your LCD down. So to get your LCD up, we're going to undo those screws. Keep in mind, uh, make sure you're not damaging your LCD cable that comes up here. And as you can see, it's run along the side. Very uh, big pain in the butt trying to get that back in there if you do have to replace it. Same thing with your an antenna wires. They're also run up through here. Once you've got all these screws up, I'm gonna take my plastic pry tool and just slide it under one of those. And you can pick your LCD up just like that. Flip it over here. And as you can see here, the LCD cable is, is held in right there at the bottom. Keep in mind when you're replacing an LCD, you need the exact same size LCD, in this case, 11.6 inches. You also need the LCD cable to be in the same spot of your LCD. Uh, the port can't be here. It can't be here. It's got to be in the same spot because this LCD cable will only reach this location. Um, also, you have to tell if this is a 30 or 40 pin. Uh, most of the time, you can't find that anywhere in the manual. You just have to count the pins uh, just so you know this is a 30 pin. Now, to take this LCD cable out of the LCD, you're going to take your flat pry tool, come up here. There's a sticker again. You're going to gently pry that sticker up, gently and, and slowly. LCD cables are fairly fragile and they break very easily. So now that I've had that sticker pried up, you can grab this black part and gently pull. But again, keep in mind that LCD cables are very fragile. So I'm going to peel that up. I'm going to hold my LCD and gently pull the cable out just like that. And then again, if you counted these pins, these pins here, it would be a 30 pin connector. So to put the LCD back, you're just going to plug it in like this. Nice and flat and flush, plug it in, make sure that it's secure, and then gently but firmly put that sticker back because that sticker is the only thing holding this from sliding out. Then you would gently, slowly rotate it back. And then once you have the LCD sat in place, all the screw holes line up, make sure the antenna wire are not under it, the other LCD cable end, make sure it's sitting down flush, and you'd put all your screws back for the LCD. Now that that's in place, we would bring our bezel back over, 
Just put that into place and then snap it back down. So the LCD assembly is fairly easy. So that's the video guys, pretty straightforward. It's not too complicated, but it does help to watch a video first, help to know what you're getting into before you start taking your computer apart. Uh, any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you have to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to address those as often as possible. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful. Subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer content. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.